Hi, my name is Madam Indistin, and welcome back to some Cafe Stella. Back with the Nozomen route. I have, once again, nothing important to say today, so let's get straight into this video. Oh, Nozomen, morning. My new girlfriend shakes me awake on the very first morning of the new year. I open my eyes to see Nozomi's face smiling down at me. Ah, it really is her. Quickly moved to get up, but changed my mind, grabbing her hand and pulling her towards me instead. You know what? I want to put the music down a little. That's not too quiet for you guys, is it now? I hope not. Put my adorable girlfriend in the bed. You're so cute today. Oh, only today, Nozomen? I hug her close and rub her head, nuzzling my cheek against her. I love you, Nozomen. I'm going to treasure you for the rest of my life. Stop lying. Squeaky bed, love and peace. <laughs> Not the squeaky bed. What's wrong? You didn't seem to mind cuddling last night after we did the butt flapping activity. Ah! Same. What? Still holding those omen in my arms, I look up. Oh, boy. <laughs> my dad is standing in front of me wearing a smug grin on his face. You must have thought that was a real knee slapper. What are you doing here? Why do you have to pick now of all times? I jump right out of bed. Dang, I forgot how this dude looked like. Why? My dad takes out his phone from his pocket. Don't! Snatch the phone out of his hands. I'd rather not get hauled off to jail first thing in New Year's. On New Year's Day. You consent? You consent? Nozomi blushes, fidgeting with embarrassment. So cute. What a sight to see on the first day of the new year. Dad, the truth is, we've started dating. Finished, I finished your sentence first, stating it plainly and clearly. It's not a joke. I know, I can hardly believe it myself. <laughs> How uncomfortable. Zomi smiles wryly next to me. Nozomi bows her head to my dad. That's it? Nozomi's trying to be serious here. I'm standing right here, you know. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, yeah, Gigolo. I missed that. I was only kidding, obviously. Truth be told, I'm the type of guy who wants to take care of my girl. I'll take full responsibility, Nozomen. So he says. そうか。うん。なら。お前。さっきの言葉を忘れるなよ。I look at the table to see a bunch of stacked jubako boxes in a steaming nabe pot. The savory smell of dashi, I've never heard of that before, wafts faintly through the air. My dad eagerly sits down by the hotatsu. We have a dad, that's right. Yeah, but I'd rather be spending New Year's alone with my girlfriend, though. 
Those are my honest feelings. I'm gonna have to side with Nozomen in this particular situation. She gives my back a shove towards the bathroom. Hey, stop eating without us. Scrub my face while yelling at my dad to put down his chopsticks. But he ignores me. By the time Nozomen and I arrive at the table, my dad's already weeping tears of joy from her cooking. There's barely any Osechi left for us. Ah, oh, now that's not very nice, Dad. Shut up. SSR? Don't talk about my girlfriend like she's a rare card in some mobile game. Oh, what that kind of metaphor is that anyway? Our dad's very nice and loving and supportive. Nozomi smiles, handing me a bowl of zoni. I accept it gratefully. Mm, this is great! What kind of dashi is this? Zomi beams happily as she watches me. I can't believe my cute girlfriend is serving me such an elaborate home cooked meal on New Year's Day. This has to be the height of norminess. I'm in heaven. It'd be even better without this guy here, though. When Zomi Min is busy refilling my dad's bowl, he whispers quietly so that only I can hear. I won't. He chuckles, patting me on the shoulder. Why are you suddenly acting like a father trying to flatter his new daughter-in-law? It's a little soon for that. Is it? Alright, I'll wait here. To eat breakfast, the two of us make our way to Nozomi's house. New Year's is the busiest and most profitable day for the shrine. Naturally, this means that Nozomi, as the shrine maiden, has to work today as well. Since the dedication dance had been successfully completed yesterday, we've also packed up our stall. And so, as Nozomi's boyfriend, I offer to help her around the shrine. That said, I can't exactly take Rokuro-san's place as head priest. May I just help sweep the corners and stuff? Oh, hey everyone. Happy New Year. Turn around to see that the rest of my co-workers have arrived as well. Oh yes, you could say that. Huh? Oh, sorry! I had completely slipped my mind. Crap, I promised to eat New Year's soba with everyone at the cafe and then just left them hanging. That's true. Whoops, we actually did spend the night together. Please forgive us. I say a solemn apology in my mind. Hmm? Wait a minute. How did he know Nozomi and I started dating? Wow, that was quick. Zomi, Shrine Maiden version, returns offering everyone a cheerful greeting. Your Chidani son and Nozomi giggle and chatter away happily. It's always lovely to see two pretty girls getting along with each other. It takes a mental snapshot of the scene before me. I take. Huh? Are you here to pray for safe childbirth or something? Huh? No, I just mean. I hear people come to Kaiwa Shrine to pray for that sort of thing, so 
学業上手も商売繁盛もお守りは一通りあるよ。I forget how spicy the other one is. I mean, they're all kind of spicy now that I think about it. ほら、セクハラしてないで行くよ。おみくじはこっち。But the other one's just a little scary looking when she's mad. Hey, don't pull me like that. はい、ここから棒を一本引いてね。番号が書いてあるから、それを教えて。Nozomi brings out a tube full of sticks. It's an old wooden cylinder about 30 centimeters long and 10 centimeters in diameter. At one end of the cylinder is a small hole. Passing it around, everyone shakes the tube and pulls out a stick. Here, Nozomi, you draw one too. Just do it. You don't want to be the only one without a fortune, do you? Nozomen gives the tube a shake, pulling out her own stick. Two younger girls start chattering away cheerfully again. Ah, one's the heart. Never change, girls. I'm not sure what they're doing, but it looks interesting. Sounds interesting. From a nearby drawer. 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 Oh god. Forgot to speak for a sec. Mazoman produces a handful of numbered fortune slips and hands them out. Everything? Wow. Mm. In other words, study hard and you'll get good grades. Sounds like she wants me to continue tutoring her this year. Well, all right. As long as Nozomi also gets to study with us. The two girls giggle excitedly again. Adorable. This will make another fine addition to my memories. Looks like everyone's got fairly decent luck this year. Kaiwa Shrine is pretty famous for having accurate fortunes, so I'm sure it'll be a great year for all of us. Maybe Nozomen's dance was even more effective than we thought. Hmm? Oh, right. Mine says. I open it. I stare. Terrible, terrible, terrible luck. Hey, give that back. That's personal information. <laughs> the font. Everyone peers down at my slip of fortune paper. I wish I could see it. What's the meaning of this, Nozomi? Whose idea was it to put such an awful fortune in here? I almost feel like speaking to the manager to complain about this. Well, that's a good way, I guess. Wow, what? If we're going to do something like that, at least make it say outstanding luck or something. Seriously? Quit messing around, Rokuro san. Step. Step. I noticed the girl slowly edging away from me. What am I, contagious? Wait, why are you guys avoiding me? I take a step forward. But they quickly take another step back. <laughs> Does it really say that? Oh boy. Am I gonna die this year? The others look at me with pity in their eyes as they back away. Stop! Don't look at me like that. I sob. As my shoulders slump with depression, Nozomi gives me a gentle hug. 
My honey, my one and only ally, I love you. I could do without the name calling though. Uh, oh, yeah. Her reminder lifts my spirits. Mm, hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna tire right away. But in that instant. Ah. Uh, a sudden gust of wind blows my fortune into the air. In the blink of an eye, the slip of paper is carried far, far away until it flies out of sight. It's over for me. I hang my head in defeat. Now everybody's gone, probably. Then why are you backing away from me too? It's a sad, sad New Year's Day. No, not really. You got to bone. That's a great start, if you ask me. After the others leave, Nozomi and I return to our shrine duties. Alright, I'll continue patrolling the grounds. No problem. Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> Nozomi walks off with a bounce in her step. In high spirits myself, I begin my patrol, keeping an eye out for any problems or lost possessions. Sending out out on the road. On that bike I bought with a loan? What are you singing? I'm in such a good mood I even catch myself humming a few lines from an old song I wrote. Oh, Rokuro-san. How's the leg doing? But now he's walking virtually unaided. Huh. How do you mess up his leg again? I don't even remember. That's great news. Please take it easy though. Could this be the result of Nozomi's dance lulling the butterfly back to sleep? If so, then Akaiwa Shrine should be safe for another year. Oh, uh, okay. Uh oh. I haven't told Nozomi's parents that I'm dating their daughter yet. Huh? Wait, did Nozomi tell you? Oh, wow. Sharp. Very, very sharp. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I lowered my head in apology. Really, my dad thinks the opposite. Thank you very much. His words touched my heart. It's like you want her, you could have her. What? Um, with all due respect, it might be a bit early for that. He's already take talking like I've decided to marry into their family. Nozomi comes running over, her feet pattering against the ground. もうすっかりいいんだよ。そんなことより、高生君と将来の赤岩神社について話そうと思って。そんなこと高生君には話さなくていいの。高生君は大学を卒業したら公務員になるかホワイト企業に勤めてもらうんだから。え、お父さんと
人も神社を何だと思ってるのかな It's a lot of fun chatting together like this, the three of us. I'm enjoying myself a lot. Much more than I was during the days when all I did was go to school. While I don't know about the whole taking over the shrine business, I definitely don't dislike the idea of spending more time with Nozomi and her family. Ah, so so. People say the same thing about their fortunes, too. Kaiwa Shrine might actually be kind of amazing. Once Rokuro san leaves, I pull out my wallet. It won't hurt to splurge a little every now and then. A lot of good things happen this year, so I thought I'd show the gods a bit of extra appreciation. Nozomi wraps both her arms around mine. Well, you know, don't make me say it. Look at her getting all cocky. You sure? That's a lot of cash for you, isn't it? Kazufumi? Alright. What are you going to pray for, Nozomi? Probably something like, Please let me be together with my wonderful boyfriend forever and ever. Hey, don't ignore me, Nozomi. I hurriedly tossed my coin in the offering box as well. After ringing the bell, Nozomen bows her head in reverence. Unfortunately, I can't really hear what she wished for. Well, it doesn't matter. I. huh? Nozomen, look out! Huh? That was much too close. The fallen bell lay exactly where Nozomen had been standing moments before. Are you okay? <laughs> you almost just got murdered by a bell? Phew. Let out a sigh of relief as I hold Nozomi. I shudder to think what might have happened if that heavy bell had landed right on top of her. <laughs> My dead girlfriend on the first day of New Year's is actually kind of crazy. <laughs> huh? I didn't really do much. I called out the warner, but I wasn't quick enough to pull her to safety. Or so I thought. I simply caught Nozomi after she left out of the way herself. Or did I? I can't really be sure. It all happened so fast. Good idea. We should at least find a temporary fix for it. We're sorry for the inconvenience. I'm glad none of the other visitors around us were hurt. Still, though, if I really do end up taking over that Kaiwa shrine, it's not going to be easy keeping the place in shape. The shrine isn't very big. Unlike the one with a certain shrine princess. Interesting. Nozomen's right about this place being tiny. However. You know what? I finally pasted it together after too many episodes. Actually, no. I had thought about it already, but I wasn't sure, but uh, I think it was just a guy. Yeah, it was just a guy. I showed that screenshot last episode or two episodes ago. Anyways, he had said, play San Rimbanka, you'll find something interesting about blah, 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 and Nozomi. Then you'll find something interesting about Nozomi and blah, 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 blah. And so they're mentioning Tomodake and the Shrine Princess, and we do know a Shrine Princess, which we saw in San Rimbanka. So I'm just going to assume that this is in the same world. And also the Shrine, the shrine Princess they're talking about is the Tomodake I'm thinking about. So, yo. Well, ain't that interesting? The zombie's dance yesterday really was something to behold. Naturally, it wasn't perfect, but it was. What's the word? Soothing. That's right. Watching her dance put my heart at peace. To be honest, I love to see her dance every year. And I'm certain many other people feel that way as well. That's why I want the Akaiwa Shrine to remain open. 
Looks like I'm actually starting to consider it. I'll try doing some research into what it takes to run a shrine. For the longest time, I had no idea what I wanted to do after graduation. But finally, at last, I can see a path forward. Interesting. Very interesting. Cafe Stella to Shinigami no Cho. Good morning. Three days after the New Year's, it's finally time to get back to work at the cafe. Showed up early today along with Nozomin. Hi, hi, very funny. Leave it to Suzune to tease me first thing in the morning. Mikado smiles. The red butterfly has safely returned to sleep and Kuro san made a full recovery. There's nothing left to worry about. Although he didn't say any of this aloud, he must have been relieved. Yes, I'm sorry. I turn to the other three and bow my head. Planning to keep on helping out at Akaiwa Shrine, you see. Decided to continue to land the hand around the shrine even though Rokuro san has recovered. I've actually become kind of interested in shrine work lately. So I thought I'd help Nozomi's dad around the place and learn a thing or two while I'm at it. Everybody's just giving him crap. Oh my god. And maybe not like in a way where they're actually like just trying to be rude or anything. But I just find it funny that everybody's like, oh, you got stuck with him? I already know that. Don't rub that in. まあ、興味ができたなら勉強すればいい。ずっとここでバイトというわけにもいくまい。止めません。そうですね。調理班がちょっときつくなるかもですけど。あ、よかったら私にも調理手伝わせてください。いいの？おなか早速仕込み手
Even though it's our first day back, we needed all hands on deck. On the PP. In the kitchen. Zomin included. Despite her grumbling, it's incredible how Suzuna-san is able to make such thin crepes without fail. Next to her, Nozomi is desperately trying to keep pace, filling the crepes with toppings and wrapping them up. Suzuna-san seems rather pleased to have found such a capable new prodigy. I'm a little worried she's working Nozomi too hard, though. Shikisan and Hiyuchitani-san into the kitchen. The customers must be hurrying them. Sorry, they'll be ready soon. Crap. Should have leave Nozomi the Suzuna-san and focus on my own cooking. Suzuna-san's been complaining about having to bake nothing but crepes too. I'd help, but there's no way I'd be able to learn how to make crepes like her on such short notice. But you mean like our ratings on Tavalong or whatever? I guess she's right. Sometimes people leave bad reviews for the most arbitrary reasons. Online reviews, whether good or bad, tend to have big impact on a restaurant's reputation. Such are the times we live in. Well, we can discuss it with everyone later. Alright, omelette rice is ready. <laughs> oh? Shikisan plays the dish on the tray and swiftly carries it out of the kitchen. Meanwhile, I take the bold pasta out of the water and quickly toss it into my pan, mixing it with the egg and cream sauce. Okay, carbonara is ready. Oh, Ain't no chef out there who only knows how to make omelette rice and pasta. Thanks. What do you say I make you some for lunch then? Uh -oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, just make sure this one gets to the customer. Hi. She eats it. <laughs> Strike two. Phew. Hopefully the lunch rush is slowing down now. Set down my pan on the stove and let it aside. Oh, what's the rush? Uh, uh, don't sweat it. Everyone makes mistakes. Whoa, don't cling to me like that. It's dangerous. Strike three. Alright, pasta's done. Man, I guess even Akizuki san has her careless moments. Uh oh. Uh, well, what is it, Nozomi? When did she get behind me? Oh, she's a little spicy like that, alright. Her grip on my shoulder is like a vice. Eep. Although she's smiling, I could tell she's angry. Nozomi son, your fingers are digging into me. Run, bro, run. Run away while you can. Not even Suzuna was like that. I don't recall. That smile is seriously scaring me. I don't want to find out what she's going to do me with me when we're alone. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of work right now. I can't step away. Right, Susan Hassan? I look at my boss begging for help. I look to my boss begging for help. Uh, boss, why? I learned to take a hint, Susan Hassan. Was she doing this on purpose? No, she's not. Bro, was f that's flirting? What? I don't remember doing that at all. What are you, a cop? Nozomi san, I'm sure this is all just one big misunder. Ow! Oh, oh, don't you go my call like that! Run. Run, bro, run. 
Help me. Suzune san. Suzune mon. <laughs> wow, thanks. Having been abandoned by Suzune mon, I'm driving. <laughs> What are these names? <laughs> Suzune mon. I'm driving off to the break room by an angry Nozomen. The sound of the door locking echoes loudly around the room. Yeah, strange. Normally I'd be happy to hear these words coming from my girlfriend, but for some reason I feel like some tiny deer being cornered by a ravenous predator. Um, Nozomi-san? I swear I don't remember ever flirting with any other girls. Her cheeks swell angrily. With who? Everyone except Suzune-san? Is that true? I wasn't planning on making one. Besides, I'm just regular friends with those three, that's all. Hmm. That's crazy. That was just some friendly advice. There weren't any deeper meaning behind it. Also, I never called her babe. She grabs both my shoulders, shaking me back and forth. That has nothing to do with anything. I always cook lunch for everyone. You eat it too. More importantly, what do you mean you've been doing the same thing to me? Was that last part really necessary? She sure is dramatic sometimes. That's crazy. Ow, ow, that's not a table you're smashing, that's my shoulder. That's even worse. Stop trying to karate chop my neck. I'm able to bury it. I grab both of her arms. Uh -oh. Run, bro, run. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> Tears begin to well up in her eyes. Uh oh. Ro oh, <laughs> there was my father. <laughs> my heart drops with guilt. No, oh god. He's balls deep into this mess. Oh god. Reflexively, I pull her into a hug. Look, Kizuki-san is just the sort of person who likes that sort of skin-to-skin -skin contact. Neither of us meant anything by it, but if you don't like it, I'll try to be more careful from now on. I'm sorry. I just want you to know that you're the only girl I love, Nozomi. You can trust me on that. There's the reassurance, for now. She sniffles and apologizes while I hold her in her, my arms. <laughs> I think it'd be a really big red flag if your partner was nice to only you and mean to everyone else. Ouch, but time to move on. I mean, you can't do anything about that. That's not gonna happen. I love you, Nozomi. I wish there was a more eloquent way to express my feelings for her. Oh no. Can you please stop bringing up those old songs? I know which song it is, you don't need to spell it out. It can be a pain sometimes having a childhood friend who knows everything about you as a girlfriend. Are you sure? Wiping the corners of her eyes, she gives me a big smile. Adorable, simply adorable. I don't know if it's worth it though. Yeah? Huh? Oh, sorry. Can't believe I'm popping up on every time like this. <laughs> this is the second time it's happened. <laughs> I should be ashamed. 
<laughs> Hurriedly, I pull myself away from the zombie. However, what? She grabs me tight, refusing to let go. But what's wrong? Yes, it's you. <laughs> oh my God! Not in the break room. That's crazy. Y you're what? That's crazy. Bro's getting milked in the break room. <laughs> Yo, Nozomen is actually crazy. Afterwards, we quickly, 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 we all quickly open the, the window, the air the room out, wipe the floor clean. We have to erase all evidence of the deed. I can't smell anything. Well, maybe I just don't realize it. That's actually crazy. Yeah. She's a little toxic or whatever. Gotta get rid of her. Can't believe we just had... Sexy time at work during our break. I'm glad nobody caught us, but now I think about it, this was a really risky thing to do. If Nozomen hadn't locked the door beforehand, we might seriously have been caught in the act. What's more, I think I've been kind of an inconsiderate boyfriend. <laughs> now that you're my girlfriend, I should be putting you first. I have to make sure I don't do anything that causes you anxiety. I promise I'll be more businesslike with the other girls from now on. Reflect on the words Nozomi had said to me while we had been doing it. Bro. <clears throat> Bro did nothing wrong. <laughs> no, I can do it. Just watch me, Nozomi. Despite what you think of me for all six years, my elementary school teacher always told me, I know you can do it if you just set your mind to it. Impressed? <laughs> Suzune and Akizuki-san call out to us from the other side of the door. Phew, perfect timing. Oh, well, it's a good thing we last for only 10 seconds. I'll show those women just how business-like I can be. Hmm. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I quickly unlock the door, quietly swinging it open. Hmm. Zomi and I aren't married yet, Akizuki-san. I answered coolly. Oh no, don't do it. Nozomen turned scarlet while the other two stare at me, wide-eyed. Whoops, I messed up. No, uh, wait, that's not what I meant. I instantly corrected myself. Oh god. <laughs> Oh god, no, no, no. Stop it right now. This time, those women's eyes start tearing up as the other two look even more surprised. How does she cry that quickly? That's crazy. Crap, this has somehow turned even worse. No, of course not. I'm serious about you. That's why I'm still hoping around the shrine and stuff. So don't cry, Nozomen, please. I hastily move over to stroke her head reassuringly. No, I'm not hearing anybody out. She's toxic. She's a red flag. Get. <laughs> no. She nuzzles her forehead against my chest. Looks like that managed to cheer her up. I thought I had a sigh of relief when I struck her head. Guess Nozomen was right after her. Maybe being businesslike isn't my thing. No, it's not. Just, just, just leave it alone. <laughs> she sure did, sir. Yeah. I left to work a little earlier than Nozomen to help out at the shrine. Currently sweeping the grounds while making a bit of small talk with Okudo-san. Yep, Zomi's my first girlfriend. What happened to Kose's mom? Did she die? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Really? That's crazy. That's kind of hard to imagine, to be honest. My dad comes strolling over, frowning. Where did he come from? <laughs> we got daddy issues. She'd probably rather you didn't. 
I'd be pretty annoyed if my dad called me every day too. Oh. Already gone? Oh my god. <laughs> Too late. Too late. My father turns his back on me and the Dad. Hmm? Don't work yourself to death. What? Yeah. Okay, see you. Waving his hand, he strides out of the grounds without another look back. Rokuro san shrugs his shoulders. Like father, like son, I guess. I smile wryly. Oh no, the toxic one is back! Oh no, give me a break! Good thing it's time to wrap it up. Okay. Honestly, this episode went by really fast for me. Like, it was it was crazy. Like, I swear I just turned on the camera and now the episode is over. Like, what the freak? I was insanely fast. Last episode, I was like, alright, so far so good. Now, after this episode, I'm like, oh my god. I don't think I'd be able to put up with a woman like that. Bro did nothing wrong. Now, her tripping is a whole other, low-key red flag. Low-key, low-key. Like, she's cool and all, but she's a red flag. She might be better off a homie, to be honest. But she's still a nice character. Nonetheless, she's wholesome. Until she's not. But it was a good episode. Good episode of uh, I, I'm glad we got something different, you know? And what I mean by that is... <clears throat> in this route, we're not getting stuck with, like, opening a restaurant or something related to Cafe Stella. It's, it's more about him, like helping out Zomin's family and you know potentially taking over the shrine or the, the, the shrine that's right i'm just glad to see that there's something different going on in this route you know but with that being said i'm gonna wrap it up here i think that's all i have to say about this episode really nothing much more i can say anyways with that being said i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you so very much for watching this video i really do appreciate it if you did enjoy please let me know by hitting that like subscribe in if you haven't already done so and i'll see you guys in the next video as always y'all stay safe and until next time